Hey, what's going on with it, ladies and gentlemen? This is the one, the only criticism guy, 2009, aka Nintendo Fix 111. I actually heard about this news four hours ago when I woke up around 11:30 because I'm off today at work. Thank God. Anyways, um, I had a little bit of technical difficulties with the sound impediment and shit, so it took me about a good fucking two hours until I readjusted everything because I fucked everything up. So I had to do that. Call one of my roomies to fix it in for me. Luckily, one of them they know like a little computer specialist. They're talking over the phone about two hours, but you know what? All that shit to the side, let's begin. This might have to be a two-part video, because I'm a little late on it, even though I'm a couple hours late, but let's begin. Pokemon X and Y, biggest update ever so far. So, right now, there's not a lot where we know about these Pokemon. This is the official, legit, core core scans of the fucking week. And where, right now, we got right here is this Lizard Electric, norm, normal electric Pokemon. I think his name is uh, Igazazi? I don't even know. This one, I forgot all their names, so I'm probably going to have to do a part two on it. This is a Japanese Robin right here. It's a normal flying type, you know. Basically knows your average um, normal flying type news like Tackle, Drill Peck later on, Peck, you know. Basically, it's based on a real life Pokemon. This one right here, this is the one I was talking about a couple days ago, saying if it was fake or real. Fortunately, it is a real one. And we see it riding the bull, the trainer. He's riding this bull grass Pokemon. It's kind of like Sauce Buck a little bit, except it's a goat this time instead of an elk. So it's a little bit of a deer resemblance family thing going on there. It actually knows Horn Leech too, just in case you guys are wondering what move set of, or move move pool that it has. That's what it knows, and I'm wearing this new shirt by the way. Anyways, um, yeah, last but not least, uh, this thing looks kind of like a little pet shop a little bit. I don't know why that Miko Chan thing, not Miko Chan, uh, Penny Lane. I think that's what her name was. Yeah, because I fucked that word up a couple times on my Nintendo Free channel. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty much thinking it's gonna be a badass when it evolves. I think it has its own signature move, which I haven't gotten to that yet. I think it's called um something of injustice i'm not sure but it looks pretty fucking badass in my opinion this is another picture that was on the core core leak scans um if any of you guys actually care this shit is pretty much looking badass they actually look a lot older they don't look in their teens they look like they're mid late 20s almost so they look pretty much a lot more older around my age than a lot of the more of the younger kids at that time another really badass thing about this is that you can finally do character customization a lot of these people have been saying when am i going to get that past five fucking months since january so it's around the time my birthday when I turned 24. Pretty fucking awesome in my opinion. The only thing that has... There's a little bit of a catch to it in a way. Because um, you're able to do customizations with them. The only one customization you're able to use is use skin tone. So I'm, I'm pretty much happy that Satoshi Tajiri and all of his other little teammates like Morimoto and um, countless fucking others which I can't really pronounce. Those are all Japanese names, obviously. You know, Asians are smart as fuck. They're awesome as shit, too. But sometimes, they can be a little racist, but it is what it is. I really don't give a fuck. Other than that, you know, um, the girl actually looks a lot older, too. Her shirt and her little skirt thing's red instead of, like, a lot of people are saying it's going to be purple or yellow. It's official now. It's red. <laughs> so be happy with that, people. And we got a lot more information from the other Pokemon, which I don't have on here displayed, but we know that Chessman can learn Tackle, Leaf Blade, Roll Out. It's just the first grass Pokemon to ever learn Roll Out, let alone a starter type Pokemon. I know with um, Fennekin, which I think you guys already know what Fennekin is, he has the little ears and everything. Other than that, um, besides that, sorry, I had a little bit of a phone call. Last but not least, I want to say about this, which I'm probably going to have to make a part two of this video, is that um, this is pretty much going to be bad fucking ass because um, Fennekin, they said, like, his um, ears go up to 250 degrees Celsius, which is pretty fucking hardcore, in my opinion. They didn't say too much about um, Froakie, except he's the bubble-type Pokemon. So he's probably going to be related to Poliwag, Poliwork. He's going to learn, like, Bubble Beam, Ice Beam. Typical Water Ice-type moves. But, um, yeah, other than that, I'm really excited about this information. Hopefully you guys have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are. Like, comment, subscribe. This is what it is. Ain't what I see you when I see you guys. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are in the universe. And uh, peace out, take care, laters, and um, have a good day, all right? Happy Saturday, don't drink and smoke weed at the same time, and um, I will see you all soon. Hopefully you guys can hear me, too. Late, peace out, goodbye, and uh, talk to you soon. Late, happy Saturday.